Meanwhile, his counterpart had a day to forget. The nightmare for Tua Tunga Vailoa. Dan, the interceptions just start happening. The Bills win it 56 to 26, and the Dolphins wind up on the outside of the playoffs. He has lost a lot of mobility because of his hip surgery. It was, mm -hmm. was career-threatening. Yes. And reportedly, he had five different surgeries while he was still at, at, at Alabama. Mm -hmm. The two ankles, he had a knee, he had one other one. Oh, a uh, fractured uh, finger. Finger, yeah. yeah. And this yeah. hip surgery. Mm -hmm. And it took a lot out of him. I'm going to say it again. You're a big Tua fan, and you are on the wrong bandwagon. He is not that guy. The players aren't sure whether Tua will ever be good enough to compete with the elite quarterbacks in the AFC. I just don't think they are sold going forward with Tua. So they get a shot at Deshaun. It's like a no-brainer. Thank you very much. Skip. You know, I'm the quarterback for the Miami Dolphins. You know, really, I'm just looking forward to being the best version of myself, getting better this offseason, helping our team win games next year. We, we haven't talked anything about um, trade or, you know, any of, you know, that outside talk. With the sixth pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Miami Dolphins select Jalen Waddle, wide receiver, Alabama. Now Tua gets Jalen Waddle. What is going on, guys? We are finally in our online franchise. I know we were supposed to wait for the scouting update, but mid-October, what you know, what does that turn into? Late October, early November, who knows? But we are officially in. We have to look at the roster. We have to talk about potential moves and what we're going to do with the team. And of course, uh, I think if you guys want to see it, we're actually going to play all three preseason games just to test out you know, sliders and whatnot. So if you guys want to see those, let me know in the comment section below and we will, uh, you know, we will post them. Uh, of course, I want to get this uploaded as quickly as possible each time I play. So then it's actually very updated and then you guys can give me suggestions and we can actually implement those things rather than someone say, oh, well, uh, make sure you start throwing the ball to this guy more. It's like week four and, you know, he has like 150 yards. Like, oh, yeah, by the way, it's uh, it's season four now. And that guy uh, died in a car crash. Okay, that was that was a little, you know, a little bit too far. Also, I know it's kind of like, hey, it's a little early in the video to say this, but these first episodes kind of get a lot of views. I'm trying to take advantage of that. Maybe leave us like, maybe subscribe if you're new. Maybe follow me on Twitter, Jumpy Care. Second channel, Care Plays, twitch.tv slash Jumpy Care for streams. It would mean a ton to me if you did even one of those things. And, I mean, that would probably be subscribe, but, uh, you know, it really does help out. And uh, let's let's get on to this. Uh, I'm really excited for this, to be honest. Of course, I'm excited, and I hope you guys are as well. I think I have the lineup set. However, I will say I did put in a request to have Lynn Bowden Jr. move back to running back. However, because his catching ratings are so high... If he gets moved back there, we're going to put him down to 70, I believe, or 75, which in fairness, I, I can admit is is definitely fair because obviously if you keep those catching ratings and put him at running back, uh, and he becomes the best receiving back in the game, basically. Uh, so we can't really have that. He'd still be good with those traits if he was 70, 75. So, uh, you know, very good route running as well. Decent juke ability. You could maybe debate just keeping him at wide receiver, but honestly, with nobody wanting Devontae Parker, we might just have to use him. We honestly might have to just use Devontae Parker and just hopefully we can dev him up because, once again, he is a very good player, especially... Well, I wouldn't say very good, but he's a good player, especially if you can get him to superstar. I can't say very good because the route running, I mean, it's pretty average. Uh, the catching is good, though, so he could actually be our, like, main jump ball guy outside of Gesicki, which we will get into in a moment. The traits are looking really good, obviously. No possession, unfortunately, but at least doesn't have drops open pass trait. Uh, of course, Will Fuller. The big issue with the Dolphins is injury, right? Like, you're going to look at a lot of the players, and their, their biggest issue is injury. We're going to try to keep these guys as clean as possible throughout the season and, uh, you know, only really try 
and break uh, for yardage when uh, you know the, the opportunity is mainly there. It's easy to see, or we absolutely have to get like a first down or something. Uh, but Will Fuller, very fast guy. Little surprised his Excel isn't a little higher, but obviously a very speedy guy. And then the main guy on the offense you're thinking about is Jalen Waddle. Unbelievable speed. He's super star of element trade. He has everything you want except for the damn possession catch trait, which really sucks. But overall, insane, good juke ability already. I mean, he's just a god. He really is. Obviously, he still has a long way to go with release and all that, but still, that speed is insane. And Gasicki, I've been thinking about trying to trade him for someone, and I haven't really found a trade partner. I really do want to use him, but once again, I've said it a couple of times, I feel like the DT spot is so weak, and so is the offensive line spot. If we can make a play for an offensive lineman or a DT or something, and it involves Gasicki, I'm willing to do it. I don't think Hunter Long is maybe that guy, but he has the potential to be that guy, and he kind of really is like a Gasicki clone, just a lot more raw, and he's obviously a rookie. Uh, no aggressive catch, but everything else in between. Uh, offensive line, I don't really want to talk about it, but I suppose at least they're young, right? The oldest offensive lineman we have starting here is Robert Hunt, and of course he is star. Solomon Kinley is uh, 24, and he's star. Austin Jackson is raw, but he is star of element trade. So this is going to be a very, very rough offensive line going into year one. But I suppose that's what makes it a challenge. And then Tua Tagovailoa, obviously the guy uh, around here that we have a questions about. You know, the uh, you know throw power 88. That's I mean that's maybe just good enough. I'd like to see it in the 89, 90. We'll see. Maybe we get a lucky upgrade point or something. And he's a left-handed quarterback. His injury concerns are there. I mean. There's a lot to worry about. And then once again, we have Lynn Bowden likely going to running back, but that's not been approved yet. So as of right now, it's Ahmed, Salvan Ahmed, very high potential player too. And I almost debated just keeping him as the starter, but no chance to become a trucking back. I want Lynn Bowden to have that opportunity or whoever our starter is going to be. If there's anyone you think that maybe we could trade for, I, and I've been in talks for Marlon Mack potentially, even though he's not really a trucking back anyways. Nice upgrade there for Salvon in fairness. Acceleration with a couple of juke move. Um, I've been trying to go for a power back, but there's no real backups that are power backs. And I'm sorry, but Miles Gaskin, he just doesn't bring enough to the table, especially at 24 years old, to be the starter. I don't care if he's star. We've been over in the past. This is now for real, but... Star development trait doesn't mean what it used to unless it's an offensive lineman because you actually get XP for going from normal to star and offensive players are not the hardest to dev as far as defensively goes we have Holland we have Jones starting we of course have the maybe best cornerbacks in the league top three unit at least uh, D line Jalen Phillips is going to be playing the left end spot uh, of course he's kind of the uh, the speed guy on the defensive line 86 speed 89 excel very raw. But uh, spin move, swim move, bull rush, high motor, you really can't ask for much more than that. Stamina is low, unfortunately. Uh, Christian Wilkins, a guy that definitely we need to get going. You know, decent block shed. Strength is low for bold DTs, unfortunately. Okay, power move. Once again, all the traits you really need. And then Raekwon Davis, I believe, only has bull rush, but, you know, he's going to be the main power guy anyway. So, I mean, we'll look at the DT spot. There's at least potential there. How much, I don't know. Uh, Igbenogany is uh, obviously a guy that will play the slot. Could be a trade piece as well. I do like him a lot, but at the same time, uh, if we're going to have Xavier Howard and uh, Byron Jones there at the starting spot for at least a couple of years, maybe get some value off of him. I'm not sure. Once again, Holland, I actually haven't looked at too much. I don't think he has much hit power, but he's obviously just like a good Peter safety. And then, of course, Brandon Jones is the guy with hit power. And uh, obviously... Uh, definitely, you know, a lot of developmental pieces around here. Van Ginkle, the kind of hybrid player, will be bringing him on blitzes here and there. Obviously, he can play a little bit of coverage. Not a bad user with that jumping. Catching's a little low, but obviously a very good hybrid player. And I'm expecting him to do some things. Jacoby Stevens, we had an FA draft, so uh, free agents don't just go to whoever you want. We had 32 teams. We randomized it. We got picked 10. My choice was Jacoby Stevens just because I like what he can bring to the table with that jumping, that that catching, the hit power. The speed isn't, you know, bad. 85 speed, 85 excel. The thing is, he has 79 change of direction, which puts him in, like, the probably the top 5% for linebackers because, of course, technically, he is a safety, uh, but obviously he switched to linebacker, and we are allowed to play him there because of that. So that was my choice. It was really tough because Javian Hawkins is there, or was there. Hopefully he's still there by the time this... Uh, 
you know, by the time we have free reigns over free agency. If not, maybe Puka Williams, someone like that, would be kind of sick. And then, of course, the main user on campus, Jerome Baker. My name, Baker. It's basically me out there. Uh, could be our AI user as well. And by AI user, I don't know what the hell that means. But could be the AI as well a little bit because, obviously, Jacoby Stevens going to be a bit raw and he might need the most user help. Uh, but Baker, a lot of potential here and uh, needs a contract, he's going to get it, let's be honest. And I suppose if you want to look at the kicker turner or the kickers and whatnot, uh, obviously Jason Sanders is decent. He's a very high overall, but of course, kick power is only 94, 93 accuracy. I mean, it'll help us kick, you know, more accurately, but it's not going to make that much of a difference per se. But let me know who you guys think we should trade for. I, I mean, that's really pretty much it for this first episode. We're going to play preseason if you guys want, we'll have all three episodes or all three games in the next episode. Uh, it could be a little bit before that, though. We we're obviously trying to tune things and make sure everything works. So it could be like three days, four days. I don't know. But obviously, the, the next time you see this, it could either be preseason or week one. It's up to you guys once again. So, of course, I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. And I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys are new, maybe subscribe leave a like. I mean, it always helps, obviously. If you're not new and you're just continuing, you're finally like, hey, it's it's here. I appreciate you a ton. You know, I, I love the support. Maybe follow me on Twitter, Jumpy Care, second channel, Care Plays, and then twitch.tv slash Jumpy Care for streams. That's pretty much it, though. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, you guys come back for next video, but until next video, oh, this is going to be great. See ya!